Good dogs. Here's Asher and Daisy out with Obi. And we're on another walk at the winery. There's Obi. And so again, you guys, Obi's going to the vet today. I don't think I've ever posted this because I started a million times on different videos and they never came out that great because I've been so busy lately again. Uh, but I might slow down. I'm thinking of taking one show plan that I had planned off just because there's like a horribly toxic individual that's judging there that um, should be excused from judging because she actually assaulted me in the presence of two eyewitnesses and she's actually a provisional judge for our breed um, and the eyewitnesses totally corroborated the account uh, that it was just she completely struck me with her bag of ice out of insane jealousy and she's like not a well person which I get but still you don't hit people and at first I was kind of minimizing it at the event because I was just wanting to focus on the positive but then I decided, you know what, after I left there, I was like, how could someone actually hit me? And uh, again, it's all just rage and insane jealousy about the dogs talking about how, you know, it's just horrible. But anyway, the point is, is that it sounds like I told my puppy owners, gosh, it sounds like this must be something to do with me. But the only thing is maybe I'm just not assertive enough, which is definitely freaking changing as I get older. But, uh, and also, like my husband said, you know, you wouldn't be having that if you were losing all the time. So, whatever. That's a sidebar. But what I'm trying to talk to you about now is Obi. So, it's like the past week and a half, Obi's never been great with GI. He's always had a stomach issue, which is why he's super model thin. But the past week and a half, almost two weeks now, about a week and a half, he's been once in a while yipping when he jumps down from things and he's been moving real real slow he's doing a little better this morning and i think um it could have been a pinched nerve which is no problem oh he's very structurally sound and i don't really worry about long term with that for him uh but i think it also could have been prostate issue because that's what happened to diego now the bad thing is is diego is what began my research into just how bad neutering dogs is because Diego's the one that came down with osteosarcoma. Good boy oh and we were told by a vet even that he may well not oh good girl Daisy she got a big stick big stick look at her go look at her Henrietta anyway she was told by leave my Daisy with a big old stick up the hill good girl anyway yeah, told by a vet that maybe he would not have gotten that. He died seven months after being neutered at the age of seven. All that said, there's weak, weak, weak support that at least the one thing neutering can be good for is prostate issues. Now, I think there's fairly strong support for the behavioral side that Obi won't be as distressed when Willow and, and or Daisy come into heat. That kind of thing will be much better. It might not... Um, work this first time because we're only set for neutering him next week and that's about a month or so before Willow comes into heat so he still may have some hormones circulating but anyway the point I'm trying to make with all this is that that might be the one area if it is a prostate infection I'm going to feel better really good about neutering him he's six almost six in October and sure he only needs one dang major for his championship but I don't know that he'll ever get it. He's a totally worthy dog. It's just the competition in Dobermans is incredibly stiff. And uh, he, it's just, he does not like showing. And so he's had tons of reserves to majors. And, you know, these are shows with 20 dogs where he comes in number two out of all the class dogs that aren't champions. So I just think it's time to give up. I've sunk enough money into OB. And he doesn't like it, so, right, Obe? So it would only be ego issues. Everyone knows he's beautiful. There's no point. And I kind of wanted to do it for his breeder's sake, but, oh, well. Uh, so we'll neuter Obes. And look at my Daisy. She made it all the way up the hill with that big bounty, didn't she, Daisy? Um, so anyway, I'm going to turn it off in a minute. And Obi is likely going to get neutered on Monday. And the good news about that is we're leaving with all three dogs except Shaq on Thursday morning and Lexi will also be over on Tuesday Wednesday of next week because she's done with watching her sister's dog so it's kind of all lining up well right guys who wants a goodie right now say bye bye to everybody Daisy what's he gonna do with that you gonna put down your bounty so I can give you a goodie all right good girl